This is the semi-final video for a smarter power pack, which is running for the 2015 Hackaday Prize. In my quarterfinal video, I had identified the issue with commercially available cheap power banks that they are slow to charge and they do not report the battery power level accurately. And the solution that I had proposed was to use laptop replacement battery packs which have inbuilt coulomb counting and gas scotch circuitry to enable accurate reporting of the battery internal health and all this information is made available through a standardized SMBus interface also called the smart battery specification which you can go online and read to be able to use one of these batteries as a power source we need a charger and a buck converter. So the objectives of this power pack that we're designing is to be able to be compatible with a large range of battery packs in the market, be it 6 cell, 8 cell, 9 cell, 12 cell. As long as you know the connector pinouts and you get a suitable battery connector, you should be good to go. For the charger, we we'll would be using a standard laptop power supply, 19.5 volts, 90 watts or 65 watts. It should be able to charge fast and be able to accurately report its health. This is a design that according to me fulfills all these objectives. It uses a TI BQ24725A SMBus charger. This is a supervisor microcontroller here an STM32. The BQ24725 receives power from a 19.5 volt 90 watt AC adapter it charges this 6-cell Dell D52X battery and the charger is able to automatically select between adapter and battery power and supply it to the 5-volt buck converter. This buck converter powers these three ports to current limited power switches. The TPS2513 is responsible for putting voltages on the D plus and D minus pins so that portable devices can draw the appropriate amount of current. All these three voltage rails are monitored using a INA3221 triple connection monitor which is connected on the same SM bus as the Dell battery and the SM bus charger. For the UI, you have a 128 by 64 OLED display and a three button user interface for configuration. Now let's move on to a quick demonstration of my prototype which I have built. This is the charging circuit built by the BQ2475A here. These two are the MOSFETs for the buck converter, this is the inductor, these two are the SMBus lines which is going to the battery and the charger and this is a INA219 current monitor, single channel. This is the 5 volt buck converter which is bought from eBay, this is the main power rail. The two MOSFETs here automatically switch the battery or the adapter onto this particular voltage rail and uh, here this here is the OLED display going to an Arduino Nano. So I was testing the firmware on an Arduino Nano right now. I'm going to write the code for SMT2 later. So it shows that, that it is in standby. The battery is at 10.94 volts right now. So now I'm going to go ahead and connect my mobile phone onto the charger here. It's charging. Now you can see that it's drawing about 0.64 amps from the USB port here. From the battery, it's much lower, and the efficiency level is 88%. This displays the time remaining here, and this displays the battery percentage. Now, let's charge this thing by connecting the power supply. You see that the display switched to charging, and that the battery is being charged at a rate of 3 amperes, which is pretty fast and the battery should be fully charged in a quarter, a one and a quarter hours. So this was it for the demonstration. Now moving on to the road ahead. In four weeks, I expect to be able to finalize the PCB design, send for fabrication, get it back and assemble it and write the firmware in parallel. So the idea is not just to be able to charge cell phones, but also use it as an emergency laptop power source for which I'm already designing a 100 watt boost converter requested for IP samples. You see on the block diagram that 
the D plus and D minus spins here connected directly to the microcontroller. So there's a possibility of implementing or, or emulating custom charging protocols like Quick Charge, for example. You can also use it as a UPS for the Raspberry Pi or the BeagleBone Black by connecting the SM bus interface directly onto, onto the BeagleBone Black or the Pi and you can monitor its own status and then you also have uh, it to be used as a power supply for robots. The question is, what are you going to use it for? Leave a comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching.